Right. Well, so just uh, update on sirtuins. They were discovered first in yeast uh, and then are named after the gene SIR2, silent information regulator number two. Uh, and information is the important part because information, I believe, uh, is, or well, the loss of information is the problem during aging, and that's both genetic and epigenetic information. And SIR T6 uh, is one of seven sirtuins that protects the cell, and there are three of them that protect uh, things that go on in the nucleus to do with the DNA and the epigenome. And SIR T6 and SIR T1 seem to be the most important for that. They repair DNA and they control gene expression. Uh, as well as other things like retrotransposons, these hitchhikers in our genome. Uh, but SIR-T6 seems to be the most potent slash important because when you turn it on or give extra copies in mice, you get a robust lifespan extension. SIR-T1 hasn't been as successful. Shin Imai at Wash U has shown that SIR-T1 in the brain uh, can extend lifespan, but the transgenic didn't seem to extend lifespan and for reasons that we think have to do with the pituitary. But long story short, the, the SIR-T6 is exciting. We've, we're working on molecules that activate SIR-T6. I, I have a startup company with John Denou and Lenny Garenti working on that. Um, and so it's it's super exciting. I know Haim has a similar company. And if we could activate SIR-T6, we could improve metabolism, downregulate hyperinflammation, uh, and even treat cancer, we think.